just getting set up so I can see you guys. Crazy, crazy here. We just had an earthquake and I was like, oh my gosh, the house is shaking. Why is it shaking? I didn't even know there was an earthquake. And so I I was looking on Facebook really quick and there, everybody's like, oh my gosh, there was an earthquake. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going crazy. So I'm glad to be here today. Kind of crazy. Okay. Well, you could see the big shot there in the camera. We're going to be using that in a minute. But what I want to show you guys is we are going to be playing with some bright colors. So we have Bermuda Bay, Granny Apple Green, Poppy Parade, and we're going to pair it, hi Kathy, with the Pattern Play Designer Series paper. Now you can get this paper if you're um, a demonstrator or if you host a party. And I will tell you what, this has got to be some of my most favorite paper. I've played with this paper so much. Yes, glad you live in Wisconsin. Crazy. I've never felt one like that. That was intense. It was awesome. It was kind of cool, but kind of freaky. But yeah, this is the best designer series paper ever. You could do so many things with it. On, on one side, it's got colors, and then on the other side, it's all black and white. And then the little, the main event of this project that I wanted to show you guys are just some dies. We're gonna use a few stamp sets for their sentiments. But I really love these dies. So they have basic border dies. And they cut out like clouds, zigzags, do like a circle, a little um, triangle punch, a scallop edge. And then we have the cool tag dies. And we're going to do a whole project based on these dies and the paper that I showed you guys. So let me put this in here actually I should keep them out for a minute because we're going to be using those this is the project that we're going to be making and I will say I cased this by really robin stamps and it's a little fun gift um, package so you can write your sentiment on this piece in that first envelope and then in the back there's little tags that say like always right behind you you are perfectly unique and then you make a difference every day and so my goal in making this one was to feature, um, you know, just saying thank you to a friend that has helped you out a lot. And then we're going to use the heart punches, which are still in our um, catalog. I know, Kathy, I so agree with you. I hope they keep this paper, though, coming up. I even love those stripes, too. So let's get started. But before we do um, the card making I thought it'd be really good if we got all of the um, die cutting out of the way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in and I'm gonna move you guys up a little bit so hopefully you don't get sick I'm trying to be nice and gentle we're gonna bring in our big shot and we're gonna want our number one plate down and then our number two plate down and then our clear plate down and I have a piece of cardstock that is the basic white, and it is cut at five and a half inches by three. And we are going to do the cloud die just along the top of that. And then we're going to run that through our die cut okay so there's our oops there's our um, basic white piece okay and then we're going to set that aside and we are going to cut a few tags and then we can get rid of this big shot machine and get busy creating and crafting okay so let's get out our scraps here so I have a piece of granny apple green and I'm going to do the largest 
tag in Granny Apple Green. And then I'm going to make one of these same exact tags using Poppy Parade. And then I'm going to use the other big tag to cut out our Bermuda Bay piece. So let's bring in our Bermuda Bay and I'm going to switch up the tag and I'm going to use the other large tag. And then I'm also going to make a couple little of the little toppers so that we could put ribbon through and not worry about it, it being reinforced. It'll be nice and reinforced. Okay. So I have that one done and then one last die cut and we will be ready to go. So let me get out my little piece of Whisper White or I keep calling it Whisper White and it's basic white. Yes, I did feel that earthquake. I was just saying that Bev. It was probably the most intense one I've ever had. Okay. So now we got our little um, tag reinforcers, and I'll show you where those go. So for now, I'm going to get rid of um, the big shot because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to bring in our paper trimmer. Or maybe we should do stamping first. Let's do stamping first, and then we could put the whole thing together. Let's do that. Okay, so give me just a moment. Let me get this off my desk. Okay. Okie dokie, let's cut out our hearts first. So I'm going to use the scallop heart and I'm going to cut it in basic black. Excuse me, I had the hiccups. And then I have a sheet of Whisper White here. And I'm just going to do the regular heart in basic white. And then I did take a couple scraps from when I was cutting my designer series paper that we're going to decorate the tags and such with. Um, so I'm going to bring those in. And so we're going to want to, I pulled three stamp sets. I pulled the Peekaboo Farm right behind you in Inspired Thoughts. And we're going to stamp different sentiments on them. Hi, Katina. I know it's so hard to remember it's basic white now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. On my what basic white heart, I want, I think, to use this Hello There stamp from the Peekaboo Farms. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. And I'm just going to stamp it in our Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm going to stamp it a little higher up because I'm going to put a scrap of designer series paper on this. Okay, let me wipe that one off. And then... We are going to stamp on our tags here. So I think for the Granny Apple Green one, 
I'm going to use right behind you, and I'm going to use always right behind you. And I'm just going to stamp that one right in the middle of my tag. Okay, we have two more to go. And I think I'm going to do, you make a difference every day. And I'm gonna do that on the Bermuda Bay one. And again, I'm gonna put that sentiment this time closer to the top because I'm going to add a piece of designer series paper down at the bottom and I didn't get that straight but that's okay it'll look cute I'm going to live with it and we need to do one last one and I'm going to let's see here I think I might pick one from Peekaboo Farms again um, maybe I'll do sending hugs I just like the writing on this one. Okay. And this time I'm going to go a little further down. Just like that. Ooh, I love that. Okay, that's perfect. Yay, yay, yay. I'm happy. Okay, now we're going to decorate up our tags and then we'll put this wonderful card together and you're going to be like that was so so sim simple and it really is and you could do a gift card in there and it would be so cute so let's get that going here so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in my liquid multi-purpose glue and i'm going to glue on my little reinforcers up at the top that'll be my first thing There's one. There's two. And because that tag's different, it has more of an oval shaped for the reinforcer, but that's okay. It doesn't matter because the ribbon will will hide that okay then I'm gonna take um, I just have a couple little strips here and I thought those would be cute on the long one so I'm gonna go ahead and do that like I said I just grabbed scraps they might not even be this right size or anything but I was gonna throw them away and I thought oh those would be so cute to decorate up my tags with Whoops. So there's one. And then I think I'm going to do my hearts on this one. Seeing how it, they're not exactly, don't even fill up the whole space, but I think it adds so much character. Yes, ribbon does fix everything. Um, it adds so much character to the little tag. And then this one, hmm, what do I want to do? I kind of feel like it needs something up there, but I don't have any more little scraps. That's okay. I'm going to go with just this one. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the black and white ribbon from the Playful Pets Combo Pack. And I'm just going to tie a little knot around each of them. So 
Sorry, I went off camera there for a minute, you guys. So I'm just, on these ones, I'm just putting it through and then I just tie a knot. So just like this. Tie a knot. Come on there. And I think I need to do a tiny bit of trimming down here on this one. There we go. Okay, so we've got the, the um, twine through those. And then I'm going to add my heart using dimensionals and pop those up. Layer that right on top of my heart. Just like that. And then I have this tiny little scrap. I thought I, oh yeah, I do still have it. I just saw this tiny little scrap sitting here and I'm gonna banner the ends and add it to the bottom of that heart. And now we get to put our card together. We got all the heavy duty parts out of the way. So just like that. So let's set those pieces aside. And now we're going to make the double crisscross flap. So what you're going to need is you're going to bring in your paper trimmer. Okay, and you're going to score two pieces. I like to use different um, pieces because when it crosses over, you're going to get different paper, okay? But you want them to be 4 inches by 11 inches. And you're going to score both of those pieces of paper at 5 and a half. Okay, so you're going to go like this and score. And then... Score this one at five and a half. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fold and burnish those score lines. But we don't want to get rid of our paper trimmer yet. And you're going to cut a diagonal line from that point to that point. So I'm going to line it up in my paper trimmer. I'm going to put the tip top of that in the cutting blade and then the bottom in the cutting blade. And I'm gonna cut a triangle, just like this. Okay, so you're left with a piece that looks like this. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna do it on the opposite side. So I'm gonna take and put the tip top of that one in my paper trimmer, and the bottom of this one in my paper trimmer, and cut that off just like that. Okay, so now you have a pocket that looks like this. Now what you want to do is on the back of one of your pieces, we can get rid of this. On the back you want to make a little crisscross to make another little flap. So if you put these triangles together just like this it creates a triangle and I'm going to place this in my card about a quarter of an inch up from the top bottom and I'm going to trace that triangle okay then I'm going to take my paper snips 
and I'm going to cut that triangle out. Just like that. Okay. So now we can glue this up. See how it made the double layers? Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to glue the bottom and the side, okay, on that piece. So I'm gonna do both sides, but a skinny line all the way at the edge and all the way up. And I'm gonna glue that down just like that, okay? Then I'm gonna glue the bottom of both of these pieces, not the sides, just the bottom. So glue the bottom, skinny line, like that, and then the bottom of this one. Okay. Now, you could save these pieces that you cut off and make a different card with them. You know, like, I don't know, you could play with it. Oh, whoops. And now you've got your double pocket. So now you just put in all your little pieces that you made. So we have our cloud piece. Oh, I might need to trim that one down just a teeny tiny bit. I think it was supposed to be five and a quarter, not five and a half. Okay. So you have your cloud piece that you can do your... You know, you could put a sentiment on there if you want, but that's where I would write my message and maybe add a gift card. And then, whoops, you have your tags to add to the back. Let them know that you're thinking of them. And then they could use these on a package if they wanted to re-gift. And then we need to add our little heart to the front. Whoops, I opened the wrong end. And there's your card, you guys. So look, I used just a few different sentiments, but it gave you the same look, the same feel, and they're just fun to create. I think these would be really fun for a birthday or even for like Christmas. Um, and you could use a variety of different papers, things like that. Thank you, Kathy. So super fun, super easy project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I've been playing with this paper pack all week. So I think yesterday I posted a little truck I made um, using some of this paper. And then tomorrow I have a fun little desk caddy that you can have. So stay tuned for that. So I look forward to seeing you guys later. I hope you have a great night. Stay safe. And um, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.